It's a snow day here at Shady Acres, and it's a cold day. What better day to try out the new M1, finally. So I'm a little intimidated to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, because it's high time, isn't it? I've loaded in a small wooden coaster that they provided in the material package, and now I just want to add a graphic to that. So I'm going to go to Image, and select my logo, and say Open, and it opens large. So I'm going to take a corner here and reduce that down until I think it'll fit on that coaster. Still too big. And I think we can go a little bit bigger than that. It's not the square we want to fit, it's the it's the words. And they're round like the coaster. Okay, I think that might work. I've already auto measured the piece over here it's 10.2 millimeters I'm gonna click process and I'm gonna click framing now this is inside the M1 I'm gonna press the power button on the front here and you can see that little dot that shows me where it's going to engrave that's the framing part and that looked good to me now you hear some more motors running. I turned on the air assist and I turned on the smoke cleaner and now I'm going to push the button on the front of the machine and it should start its work. Now it says it's going to take 12 minutes. I don't know if that's true from what I've been reading in one of the forums online. Uh, that, that guesstimate is way off so we'll just see how it goes. I'll bring you back here in a minute. So far it's been three minutes. There's four and a half minutes. It's doing the tree in the middle. And it's just finishing up the last word, wood chop. And there we go. It took seven minutes, 40 seconds. We'll fetch it out of there. Oh, that looks really good. And you can feel the indentation in the letters. Very nice. Good job. Now I've put one of my turnings in here. It's a hazelnut bowl. We're looking at the bottom. Obviously, we're going to have to resize the logo. So we'll bring it down here. Make it a little bigger. I don't want to get up there in my signature. Then I'm going to click process. Then I'm going to click framing. And I should tell you also that I dropped my honeycomb down. It was inside the machine. I tried the next level down and it was still too tall. So uh, we're one level down below that. We can go another level down below that as well. So now I've clicked framing. I'm going to push the button on the front of the machine and it should show us where it intends to print and that looked just a little bit large to me so I'm going back to my computer and I'm going to reduce the size of that just a touch then we'll try the framing again remember that's showing us the corners of a square and it's not a square it's a circle so I, I think that's going to fit in there so I'm going to say Framing completed. I'm going to click start and we should get an engraving. Oh, I forgot to see how long this is supposed to take, but I'll tell you how long it took in the end. I'll bring you back here in a little bit. I tried shining a light in there so I could see it better, but with this tinted lid, the light just doesn't penetrate, so we're kind of stuck with what we got here. Well, I did a poor job of centering the logo on there. Sorry, bumped you. I'll get the hang of it. But it's on there and it looks it looks good. Took uh, nine and a half minutes and that's this logo is much larger than the other so that's not bad at all. Now you see those coasters there's two coasters stacked on top of each other. That's because the edges of the bowl are not even. Well, I can't quite show it to you that way. 
but it was it was low on one side so I shimmed it up and that worked. I wanted to show you how this riser works. This is the riser part. Everything above that is the machine itself. The X-Tool M1 and this is the riser for it. So there's different shelf brackets for this to fit into. This was inside the machine. It wasn't on any of these. For the first piece I did the first coaster and then I tried it in this second slot but it was still too high. All right, I guess that's the first slot. Yeah, that's the first slot. Then the second slot worked and then there's still room down here for a third slot and that's about an inch lower. So I was asked how tall of a piece you can do. Let me grab my tape measure. So with, with the honeycomb in place, it looks like you could do about, I, I took a guess, I told the person about 8 inches, I don't think that's right. But, but we're going to find out here in a minute. With the honeycomb in place at the bottom most level, uh, you could probably do about 5 and a half inches. Without the honeycomb in place, and with the original base plate which goes inside the machine, but if you were to use it clear down here, then you got about seven and a quarter, seven inches, seven and a quarter, something like that. That's how tall of a piece you could put in there, which is pretty dang impressive. Now I've put this little gift tag inside, and I, I want to uh, auto measure it, and it's measuring, and it says it's successful, and that it's 1.9 millimeters thick. So now I figure these are gift tags because they come with a little string in the in the package and there's a whole bunch of them. So they must be gift tags. So I'm going to make some Christmas gift tags. So I'm going to line these up inside the machine. And I guess I better be as careful as I can trying to get them even. Not easy to do on this metal grid. They don't slip and slide very much. I'm going to make these for my daughter and she's pretty spoiled so I'll need a lot of tags for her. Oh but wait, wait, let me show you about the coolest thing in the world that I've ever seen. Watch this. So when I closed the lid it took a picture of them and there they are now and I want to add some text so I'm going to go over here to text and then I'm going to come over here to this little box and I'm going to type her name Stephanie and then I'll say although I don't have to do this she would know From Dad. Stephanie from Dad. Okay. Now I need to shrink that down so it'll fit on one of these. And I'll just take it up here. And I'm going to come up here to the upper left where it says Smart Fill. That's with an F, not a PH. Dang it. Smart Fill. And it put them all over there. Now I can rotate this. I should have done that first. I'm going to undo undo I'm gonna rotate this that's a little bit too big still because it's covering up the hole so that's good now I'm gonna click smart fill and it fills them all in they don't have to be all lined up you ever seen anything like that I have never seen anything like that <laughs> This is incredible. I can't wait to try it, see if it actually works. I'm curious if the air assist is going to blow those around. I don't know if it will or not, but I did turn it on. And I turned on the smoke purifier, which has been doing an excellent job, by the way. Just amazing. And I pressed start on the computer. And now I'm pressing the button on the front of the machine. And we're just going to see if this is actually going to work.
The first one it went to, it did just a tiny bit. It did the, it did the last D in Dad. And then it's gone on to the next one. So we'll see if that comes back there. And I forgot to check what the estimated time was, but it doesn't look like it's going to take long. I'll bring you back here in a bit. It's come back to that first one, and it looks like it's finishing it up. It's done. Uh, it's done two others completely. It did one other partially, and now it's finishing up the very first one. See this one over here? It did A D of the dad, the top left one there. But I'm sure it's going to finish them all up. And I was only kidding here, dang it. I didn't mean to ruin all these. She's not really getting this many presents from me. <laughs> but I guess she's getting the gift tags anyway. Well, this is just amazing. Amazing. Oh, look, it's coming back to finish up that one. This is incredible. And the air assist is not blowing them around, so that's a good thing. Uh-oh. It did blow that one around. Do you see it? It did. It messed up the word from a little bit. See that one in the upper left now? It's just got the M and Dad from From Dad. I don't know what the algorithm is telling this to do, the, the way it's doing it, but it's fascinating to watch. And here it comes back here to finish the last one. And it looks like it's going to be about four minutes for all of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Four minutes. I couldn't write them out that fast. Four minutes and six seconds. Incredible! Don't tell me that's not impressive. And it's complete. Now this is the one that got messed up. You see that okay? A little blurry. If I could hold it still it wouldn't be blurry. I saw the air assist move this. It actually moved it on the grid. But the rest of them didn't move. I don't know why that one did. And they all came out great. Now it didn't even occur to me to change the font. I just accepted the default font. You can. You can change the font to whatever you like. All the fonts on your computer will work with this. So, that, that, that was amazing to me. There's just so many more things we could do with this, and I will be doing many of them. I've got stone coasters here, I've got metal pieces, I've got business cards, metal business cards even. It's just an incredible amount of things you can do in such a small space. The smoke purifier did an excellent job, excellent job. There's no smoke in here at all. And uh, with some of the other, I've, I've been, used a couple of other lasers without the smoke purifier, and I don't know how it would contain it if you had it. There was, this room was pretty dang smoky, and that was during the summer, and I had the door open, and, but there's, there's no smoke smell, no smoke smell, no smoke, in the air, uh, it, it just worked flawlessly, and and that smart fill, that's incredible. I I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. It's it, it's a, a, amazing. I'm pushed for time, like everyone else this time of year. I'm trying to get out a wood turning video every week, and a review video of this each week, and I've done that. So it's time to get back in the shop on a regular basis. So I'll be. Putting, not putting it away, but I won't be using it for a while. I, I gotta get some turnings done. Christmas is coming. It's just a busy time of year. But I will be using this in the future. And when I discover something incredible, I'll sure bring you along for the ride. I, th I think you're probably gonna be interested. I'm not selling these. I don't get anything if you buy one. I'm providing links down below if you wanna go look, but I don't get anything if you go look. And if you buy one, I get nothing. Uh, I'm just doing this, well, because they wanted me to give it a try, and I'm so glad I took them up on it. Uh, but I, I think some of you folks would probably like one. So they happen to be on sale right now, being Christmas and all. They're, they're still having their Black Friday sales, so do what you will. And yeah, they're kind of spendy. They are kind of spendy, but the sale is uh, hundreds of dollars off, so 
now is the time if you're thinking about it. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop with the X-Tool M1, signing off.